I've told a great many secrets, tis true. Beyond this door lies the Holocron Vault. The Holocrons contain the most closely guarded secrets of the Jedi Order. Hey, this is part two of 1313 slash The Underworld. We got the Leaky Trooper. We got Solo Wookiee. We got Jen, Pete, and Mike back to give the second half of this little breakdown of 1313 in The Underworld. Hope you enjoy. It's part two. To be honest with you, like, what if, what if it's, what if one of them is, what, we, this should be a whole different topic, but we'll hit it here and then we'll start a new video some other time and talk about what they could possibly do. What if they do one where you can stream it because now they've gotten enough content, especially with Marvel coming in, one where you can binge it and one of, where you can do seasons with it. That would be genius. Would be genius. Somebody should star. They should really just write me checks. I think. <laughs> what do you mean one where you can binge it and one? What do you mean? If they don't if go, they don't go the whole thing week. at once. Get the whole well, thing at once. Episodes. You can't do like what do you mean like different tiering system for paying? Like oh, I'm gonna pay. No 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 no. You know how oh, Netflix just releases them all at the same time. No, I do. I know. Yeah. But I think Disney Plus is gonna stick with their week to week because they want to keep you. They want to keep you on. No, I know, but they, so you got four years to get twelve series done just on the Star Wars thing. Plus, you get another twelve series done. With the Marvel or whatever those is, plus whatever else you're adding in, that's a lot of content to go week for week. You can't. There's only 365 days in the year, man. Like you're gonna have to figure this out some way. So one way to do it would be, hey, on Christmas we're gonna release huh. Book of Fett, all of it. Now, Book if you think of it from the perspective that they may be thinking about it, is that every week we have something new. Oh, you know, all right? Star Wars all the time. Yeah, whether it's Star Wars, do that. Marvel, whatever it might be, we have something new that people want to see every Friday. That's why I thought it was weird it's that they the said line. Christmas twenty twenty. That's only fifty two. So that's fifty two. Look, that's yeah, yeah fifty two weeks. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that some other time. Talk about it and talk about math and how if you've got uh, fourteen programs plus fourteen programs equal twenty four programs. But they're not all going to run the same year. Fridays. Yeah. Oh, but even over three years, so you got fifty two. So you're looking at one hundred four, one hundred four plus another fifty two. It's one hundred fifty six, right? Mike, you 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 teach kids how to do math, right? One hundred fifty six. No, I'm an English. I'm an English teacher. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> It's 156. If you take 156 divided by 14, what do you get? See, but you're going under the assumption. <laughs> that, no, but you're going under the assumption that we're going like regular old school. Every season we have to have a new show. I'm going off of the more current. Hey, Game of Thrones took two years to give us like between seasons. Like they don't have to go year to year. They can stretch yeah. things out. Like yeah. this year we're giving you these three shows. Next year we're giving you these three shows. Yes. You're after. You get your season, whatever next of the yep. other three, and stagger that stuff. So especially if they're interconnected. Hey Jen, you you had something on this. You had something on the the Boba Fett, the Book of Fett. What was your thing on the Book of Fett? So the theory that I have that that's going into this is yes, Boba Fett the, it would be a really good uh, jumping off point for multiple shows, but also I feel like there's a consolidation of power, right? So uh, Palpatine made sure to get Darth Maul under his boot because he could mess up his plans. So moving forward, if Boba Fett becomes the new power of the underworld, he now has like an army all across the galaxy that, hey, if things get dire and we know Boba, hey, we need we need a favor. Hey, we need this or even to help even to help um, uh, Bo-Katan like, hey, we have this many people, but we need some backup like we don't want to do this, but maybe we might if we are if we work in dire situation. I like that, that totally fits the mm -hmm. model. When she released the slave, right? He's mine, a kinder, gentler underworld. And he has allies now. Or one with honor, anyway. One oh, with oh, honor. That? I love that. Possibly. Like, like more of like a... a Watch a, the bar a, a gun for hire slash have, having power. So he can decide if he wants. Like, like he's going to be his own... Because he made, he made sure to tell her, like, I didn't say I was Mandalorian, right? He kind of already kind of has it with him himself. He might maybe change his mind later because of his father's uh, donor's lineage, right? Like, hey, maybe I can rule Mandalore, right? Did you say donor? <laughs> That's, what she said. That's what he said in the show. He said in the show. We both said it. <laughs> but, like, imagine having that kind of power of, like, I'm not anyone's boss. Like, I'm my own boss. I have all this stuff behind me. I have all this, like, connections. I can say, like, he's now... He's always kind of like what worked for Vader, 
he's kind of like always been indentured or at, at, at other people's like past like because of money but like if he's the, the controller of all that he doesn't have to worry about bounties or money or any of that like he's now the leader yep and, okay. and the thing is if like he that. remember right in that scene where he said that where he's like i want to be my own the second she picked at him or poked at him he he his rage took over when he fought so that would be perfect he wants the honor he wants not to be his own boss but if somebody picks at him He'll get the gun for hire. He'll be, he he won't put up with any crap from anybody. I think we need to all watch Clone Wars again. However, <laughs> uh, so I do. Under your, under your theory, he wasn't. This is how it goes now because you said that in the game to my head. This is what the whole show is going to be about. He's going to go and send a bunch of people down there to thirteen thirteen because uh, that's where Mace Windu fell out the window, and Mace Windu's still down there. So really, he's not going after money. He's really just going to take revenge, and he's going to get Mace Windu, who's been hiding out. On level 13, 13. But imagine ah. having all those guys out there, right? Like, you now can... Because if you're one person trying to find one guy, but now you're a whole army trying to find one guy? No. Mace Windu well, not- dead, man. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where Mace Windu picks up all the foul language that we know of Samuel L. Jackson is down at 13. He only picks it up with one hand, though. <laughs> <laughs> I believe what you mean is that's where 13, 13 picks up all the foul language <laughs> from Mace Windu. <laughs> No, that's three one three. I like it. I like <laughs> it. Uh, if that happens, though, you know, I it needs tweaking. It's just like an initial, like yeah. I kept, I kept no, thinking, like, cool. I like, like that's it. what the cool part about it is, is, like to think about the different theories that could actually happen. I Obviously, want it to be continued bounty hunter not. I would much rather have Jen's theory of underworld and the the mechanisms of that than just more grief carga. Send a bounty hunter yeah. the week out. That would be boring. Oh, Armored Godfather. Come on now. Yes, Armored <laughs> Godfather. Yes. Yeah, no, um, but you so like how I think it and why I brought up the George stuff was because you know that, that the troopers aren't going to be clean down there anymore because we know that from some of the canon already. We know that they're working down there already to reestablish stuff. So there's it's going to be the black market, right? Like it's going to be the time right now where the resistance or Republic is not taking care of things because they can't control it and you can't, so maybe not as much bounty hunter as I was saying earlier, but more black market and the Godfather's trying to control the black market. Here we go. Sopranos of of <laughs> Disney Plus, right? It's still the black market. It's the poor, the low, the low rent Godfathers, right? And <laughs> he's still gonna have to kind of consolidate his power and stuff. Yeah. He can't roll into a place, shoot a guy, and I got all of his businesses. Like, right. I'm in charge. Everybody listen to me because I'm sitting in the chair. Like, you still got to kind of. Yes. Well, I think we'll. Yeah. I think we're I mean, going to end up seeing a we'll lot more. Something. A lot more bounty hunters. Just every. A, a lot. Because there's so many bounty hunters and so many people do love the bounty hunters. I think we'll see a lot more of the bounty hunter stories uh, out of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you finished, been... when you finished KOTOR, don't tell me you didn't go back and play it a second time as a bounty hunter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, it's not like ever before, though, in Star Wars, they've never had a guy come into, like, I don't know, let's say, like, the Pikes with, like, a double red lightsaber and just kill him and take it over and then go... You guys follow me now. And Yeah, so I'm you follow me now and then go to the next... That's never happened before. Uh, and he all. kills, a, be then he kills the Duchess, right, so. take, kills a duchess takes the dark saber and says the same thing <laughs> there. No, it's never it. happened before. <laughs> There's plenty of bounty hunter thing kind of pushed aside now. Like it was a big deal. Like, hey, Mando, oh. you know, he's bounty hunter. Hey, chips, and then all of a sudden, I don't know. I guess I'm still registered. Like, and we don't hear anything about it. Carl Weathers, no, well, I don't do that that anymore either. Like, yeah. all, of a sudden, yeah. all of that got pushed to the side. I'd like to see it kind of come back. That yeah. weird little I, John Wick chip system that whatever they yep. got. Going well, well, I think you could do both, Pete. Right? He's yeah. going to have to have a consolidation of power. He's still going to need the bounty hunters, but the main focus of the show won't be bounty hunter of the week, right? Like, oh, this yeah. week boss goes and tracks down this bot. I love the idea of the underpinnings of consolidation of power. And then you need a bounty hunter to go out and do hits, right? Yeah. Or to whatever. We won't get that from Mando anymore. Mando's no. got now bigger fish yep. to fry with retaking a planet. They're not going to worry about the little small job of the week. Now that yeah. can shift more to Boba's world. Wait, and so, the, real quick in the EU, do you feel like because in the EU, like he had a lot to do with like the Yusan Bong, right? He like he helps he helps in the end. Bob Boba Fett. Yeah, so be careful with the EU because Boba Fett did everything in the EU, including yeah. 
maybe or maybe not uh, he adopted somebody. He had a wife who had been assaulted uh, mm. and that could, or could not have been his kid. And that, mm. and that one time he did overdrive where he rode a motorcycle and just started blowing up Imperial stuff. Like you got to remember during a lot of that stuff too, in the EU, um, you know, they take tales from the first half. It's not true. Canon even at that point. And then they have these one shots that were kind of portions of it. Like one story might've been, but the guys that were doing the other stuff wasn't, it's really interesting when you get into that wavy area and what they can, what they are going to and what they can bring back. I think probably cause they clean the slate, like even how, well, I mean, like how they haven't gone into how Boa got out of the Sarlacc pit, but I think we assume yeah. that it's the Krayt dragon ate him. Yeah. But didn't she say something like, hey, psychic, I can't believe you can speak or something like that? Psychic. Psychic. Oh, psychic. Yeah. Yeah. Psychic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you also so got to figure, did we... what took him so long? Yeah. You know, like he's been gone a while. You would think yeah, he must have been with the, uh, you know, the sand people for a little while judging by what he, gear he was carrying, but what took him so long to find Raylan Gibbons to go look for his armor back? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was a little... That, was it just coincidence that, hey, I, that's my stuff. <laughs> like I just saw. Like, by the way, he's back on the planet where the dude that was wearing his armor is hanging out. Yep. Are we going to yeah. see that again? Probably. And Jabba, he's there. Bib Fortuna would have been there this entire time yeah. running this business. He could have rolled in there with his you know gaffy stick and just wrecked shot that way if he really wanted to. Yeah, a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. I mean, it, you know, is he going to come up with the duels of fate then and get because Va, you know, is is what's his name going to have like a made up his own armor now because nobody recognizes him as a sheriff anymore? Mm-hmm. Who knows what can happen with all that too? There's so many places. Yeah, That's where I say I, don't, I hope. I guess my biggest hope is that it's not one season. I hope they just keep doing three seasons with stuff. So well, back to Jen's theory. I wanted to make sure we interpreted her theory correctly and not twist it into something. <laughs> well. So I figured that by cons- having him consolidate all, all the power in like the underworld power into himself and have control over that, that like if the universe galaxy is in dire situation and they need to add another army, they have now Boba Fett. Like, and I think if there's like the Yuuzhan Vong or some bigger force out there, like w- my favorite scene uh, in Rocketeer is when the FBI fights with uh, uh, the the gangsters at the end because it was against the nazis like like yes. you, can, you can be Ending. i don't like you but in the situation they're the word they're, they're they're worse like, yes rangers of the new republic plus the mandalorian underworld oh, against the new threat i asked you something jen are you thinking because john's in charge they're gonna do end game is that what, or is that what you're thinking well it's gonna be this massive it like would, it would be, it would be game of thrones right they're talking about yes. game of thrones this whole entire time in game of thrones all the houses have to come together to go against the, the, the big bad yes yeah favreau yeah, almost the same way with that, game. That, right didn't john favreau come out and say it's gonna be okay. game like game of thrones yeah don't do game of thrones <laughs> that ending didn't turn out well either yeah that worked really with that yeah well, well. <laughs> filoni was like i could do that better I can do that way better. But that's I understand that it's like it is a combination of that and, and and Endgame, right? Like everybody's going against Thanos. Like I get it. That could be what they're doing, and it could be the you. You know, we always think it's going to. I I don't know how much that's actually going to happen, and how like they might change it to Gris or whatever. But like I think it is going to be this, this alien coming in, and it's like well, just so a quick go back to Game of Thrones. Thrones. Remember, we still haven't gotten book six yet. Yeah. Like, we, yeah, the showrunners might have guessed the ending, but we still didn't get the author's actual tale well, to take us to the ending yet. Because- technically, he's, he's, supposed to, he's supposed to give them an outline to, to do it, but I think some people, like, freaked out on it that he's going to change that. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Well, no, if you actually read the books, you know there's the baby son, too, that was actually supposed to be... He Look, the sweet... We could talk Game of Thrones. We're gonna have to cut this. We can't do it. No, I was just gonna say that's a deep there. hole that we can go down about how the Swedes were actually feeding him all the stuff, and he was trying to keep it into. His but head. you guys know who the Night King in Star Wars is, don't you? We already know his name. It's Grogu. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, I, <laughs> we saw him in the last episode in the Stormtrooper base. Luke tries to train him. He's dark, and then everybody has to come together and fight him, man. Oh, big su- big surprise! Luke failed again. Uh, <laughs> there you go, picking on Luke again. Here comes the. You head. guys know my Grogu's the big bad theory. I've already said that. Oh, oh, he'd man. be a little bad. No. Yeah. Him and Thrawn, <laughs> man, they'll be a little bad. 
That could be it though. Like that could, I, like I said, I hope that's going to be there. We think they have something to do with that. We hope they don't call it 13. I mean, obviously they call it the book of Fett. We know before that they kind of changed the stuff around with Ahsoka. So or, or with Clone Wars, so they haven't really referred to this either the underworld or 13, 13, just because of how bad luck and how much, I mean, it is a bad juju thing, right? Like they've spent millions and um, millions of dollars trying to produce this before. And it has gone terribly wrong. Yeah. yeah. So we hope it shows whatever it might be. Yeah, we hope they can break the curse. We hope they can bring it back. And we hope that's kind of what it's about. Because I think either way, if you're consolidating power or if you're just, I don't know, going back and a lot of those book things like the Sith book and everything like that went back in memory. So hopefully that's kind of what they're doing. And uh, hopefully it'll be fun. Well, you guys had mentioned to me in the past that there are other book ofs. There was Book of Fat. There was Book of... Um, the Book of Fat wasn't one. The Sith, the Sith book was one. There was the, the Journal of Obi Wan. There was Java. Hondo, book of Hondo. Book of Hondo, yep. So what were those? Obi Wan Chronicles, I think you mentioned. Well, yeah, Obi Wan Chronicles. Like, rules. like, oh, okay. like things and rules and things to, like, you know. Right. So Book of Fett could be his rules of the new underworld, or who knows? Yeah, it could be. Like, so the, the, actually, it's kind of funny because uh, when we're talking about Luke and him, they, fi they find Obi-Wan's journals, which is like the tale of Obi-Wan to Luke when he's like stalking over watching Luke and everything like that on Tatooine. Yeah. yeah. So that's what that one is about. The Sith, the Sith Chronicles uh, is just a Sith notebook about some certain types of things. The old Jabba tales or tales from Tatooine. Oh, yeah. That was, that was a bunch of yeah. like side end tales about what was happening at the palace and everything like that. So they've done all the, like if it's that they're all side stories, mainly flashbacks that are sectional parts, almost like from a certain point of view. Cause so I was like, asking a little bit of a loaded question. Kind of what Jen was saying about her theory is if it's the book of Fett and he doesn't like how things were run in the past, he's like all this crap before didn't work. His first play was to take over Java's palace base of operations. Now he wants to rewrite the underworld according to his rules. That's why I'm very curious. What is his ult What's his end game? And I hope it is. He's going to build the underworld in a new, more honorable system. That's what I'm hoping. Tune in December, 2021 to find out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stay tuned. I don't know how much honorable it'll be so much as rule. And, and my guess is that, you know, you, you got to do it to what you got to do to survive. I mean, the, there's always, you know, the big, bad, dark empire of some sort or first order of some sort, or there's yep. always someone there doing something. We already know there's troopers there trying to get order again. Um, we see a lot of, you know, Gordola Hut and other people around in there. So we know that the underworld is thick. We know that the empire is thick. He's just another player in in that area trying to, to tinker and control a bunch of things. But... but Hey, I'm I'm excited because I think this gives us a lot of chance for a lot of stuff in any direction they want to go. I would love to see some live action Aja Ventress, which we've never gotten. Mm, um, yes, I'd like to see some more live action um, Ahsoka. I'd like to see a lot more bounty hunters and and some more story tie-ins there. And that's also very easy to do with with. Um, Aja Ventress and Aura Singh. And so I, I think there's a lot of stuff that they can definitely, they can stick so many forks in the road off of 1313 yeah. that it it gives them a chance to do whatever they want. Yeah. So what you're saying, Wookie, is we're going to buy the whole seat, but we're only going to need the edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Pretty it. Do you guys see, can I, can I throw up this? Did you guys see this meme? Did you see this thing? Go ahead, throw it up. Oh, that one. Nice. <laughs> Marco, you got to love that. I, I mean, I hate, I do hate Abrams, but uh, I'm very cautious. I'm very cautious with what, like I said, you know, like I said. Sure this last week, Marco would have been on board, but apparently. Yeah, Luke I would have been on board last week. I'm nervous, man. I, uh, oh, well, come on. I, I am too. You wanted it so badly to be Ezra, didn't you? No, 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 no. I didn't actually. No, probably not Ezra. Like, there's a bunch of other things I could have had. 
Like I, Sabine would have been cool if they would have done something with Cal. Cal, I would have liked that. If they would have done a Jedi, we didn't even know. I would have liked that. If they would have done Voss, obviously, I'm a huge Voss fan. I like the whole storyline of how they pick the character in the background. Mm. I, I like all that. I would have liked almost all of it. If yeah, this one Yaddle, Yaddle had, had one, the chicken snake guy, that would have been yeah, no, totally cool. Snake, no, I, I would have. That's the one thing I want to dislike more than. <laughs> Oppo Rancisis, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I would have liked a lot of things. I just like. You know, it's funny when you guys are mentioning Oppo ran scissors. Right? <laughs> when you guys were mentioning a lot of these things like that could happen with Boba Fett, I was like, I want stories to end, stories to continue, and new stories to happen. Right. Yep. And that's not what the the le- like yeah. that's not what happened there. They right. went from show building to end game, literally like that. And I'm not saying like, hey, at the end of like I'm not saying at the end if that's the end we see of uh Gugu. Like that's fine. I want to mind the pass off being that. Okay. And if that's what happens, fine. I do think like the like you could have if you could have done something. You didn't. They've never done Luke right, right? They never have. They made him very whiny. He was making out with his sister. They've done a lot of stuff to him that were just they didn't make out. If if that's what happened though, they it's a good thing they did at Christmas because they just killed their golden goose with Grogu. If that's the last yeah. one to see of them, they're not going to do that. I like your idea of evil Grogu. I want to see him with like. I want to see evil Grogu. The bad guys look. They got the the facial hair. So I want to see right. little Yoda it's be in the same Darth series Luke. that they do uh, uh, Sith Sith version of Jar Jar Pinks, right? Where he the can mirror universe. Yeah, Grogu. the drunk, drunken master, <laughs> drunken master Sith. But what I'm saying, you guys, like, the last episode of the Disney Plus show I want to see is Grogu's head rolling at the camera. But that's just me. <laughs> that's dark. I mean, he can <laughs> come back and like save Din Djarin. Like he comes back and he's the guy that saves him. Yes. Could yes. Could be. Or 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 Din Djarin can cut his head off at the end. Uh, it could be like the power play thing where he comes in like the dragon and then his. Either way, this is so. This is what I guess we could cut this or do whatever we want with it. But like to be honest with you, like I really. When they start to move a lot of the stuff out of like, and I know Trooper will say this because there's a lot of guys in the 501st that probably agree with this. There's a lot of fans that won't speak out like I will and say this, but when they got us to the buy-in and I know we were all nervous, but they started doing this whole cross universe, erasing it. And we're going to have the perfect canon. We're going to have the story group. We're going to have everything linked up and it's all going to go well. And then they do this little bit too much of fan service. Like we saw the Darth Vader thing where the timeline didn't, or Darth Maul thing where the timeline didn't yeah. really add up. We saw, and it's going to the fan service. And then they come out and tell us like, hey, we know we screwed that up. We were listening to the toxic fans too much. We're not going to do it again. That's what screwed up the last three movies. We're good. And then just like Darth Maul appearing at the end, you have some guy going, I really wanted Luke to be BA. So I'm going to put him through a, a scene that already happened. Look, if yeah. you did something, if yeah. it was yeah. him, like if he was there and you didn't see anything and all of a sudden lights went out in the ship and you just saw like the glow of a green stick and started cutting through troopers and he came up and then you saw him pull the hood off when he comes in. I'm okay with that. Actually. I'm really okay. And that makes him look BA too. Like I'm okay with that. Trying to react the rogue one. Uh, tr- the scene and that, and that's what's supposed to make him look like he's tough. And he didn't even, it didn't look even, unfortunately, I didn't think it looked that good. There was a lot of flaws and I understand it was because they couldn't do reshoots and they couldn't edit well, but just the fact that they weren't going to come up with something new mm. felt cheap. And literally problem with a lot of the legacy stuff. And literally three days after you announced that Hayden Christensen is going to be Darth Vader on Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Literally like the paint wasn't even dry on that. And then, boom, you got Luke, too. Jen, I'm still with you. It's a five. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, Sorry, Marco. It was awesome. I don't have the problem with how it was filmed. I just didn't like the idea of it being Luke. Mer- yeah. 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 So get away from the Skywalker. Yeah. They promised us they were going to get the best stuff that they've come out so far has been leading away to the Skywalker saga. The best right. stuff that they've come out so far has been that. Do they bring it stinky? That'd be fun. Down, down. He's still out there, right? He's still out there. Think he's out there. Yeah, it was neat to see, but it, they all they did was make 
10 times more trouble for themselves and they yes. sort of went a different route. They, they painted themselves into a corner, right? The emotional resonance of the episode, fantastic. But I'm like, ooh, where are they going? There's, that's a lot of balls in the air they're going to have to juggle, man. Didn't need to, yeah, that's the thing. Like, they didn't need to do it. And you could have, you could have, Mike, and this is the thing, you could have, how, how great would it have been? We didn't see that. Just wipe that out of your head. All of a sudden, they're doing the Rogue Squadron thing, right? And then all You're of a sudden, talking um, Rangers of the New Republic. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron, yeah. yeah Rogue Squadron. And all of a sudden, you Stan is young Luke, or yeah. All of a sudden, you hear this is Red Leader, and it's they said new character yeah. coming in. I, I hope it's the Rogue Squadron, Squadron thing. thing. They I did. hope it's not. They may do that. They may do that. The they may do that. very well may do that. And honestly, I was I was on board for it to be Ezra the whole time. I thought it was going to be. I thought I I thought that Filoni was going to want to continue to play in his own sandbox with his own characters. <laughs> he'd already bring. He'd already brought the Thrawn yeah. thing up. I thought it would be Ezra, but no, I don't Ezra, like the Ezra and Thrawn are tied together. Yeah, like, I don't. I actually yeah, wouldn't right. like Ezra either. Yeah. I would have kind of <laughs> like. I actually kind of would have liked a new Jedi. Like I would have liked to. Like I want. I want new stuff. I don't like to keep rehashing yeah. the old tread. Well, we're bring back, back that. Bring back that Jedi. Things. What's the name of that Jedi from the Obi Wan kids novels? Do you remember that, Marco? The the like eighty page kid. Obi Wan novels. Oh, Boba, okay. Boba Fett had his own series too. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. There was a different. Yeah. There was another Jedi who was taking, finding the Jedi who survived, who survived Order sixty six and bring them right. to a different planet. To, yeah, yeah. What, what yeah. was that guy's name? Who was that? I can't remember yeah. that guy's name. It's too late over here. Um, we'll just quick, yeah. quickly. I was think of it this like way. in the morning, shooting something last night too. But just think of it this way: with it being Luke, you don't need follow up questions. That's what I, why I think they pick through like. Look, Grogu's with Luke. Nobody's going to want to know what happened, or what, they're just going to assume. No, there's people, there's people asking have, now that yeah. now they want to see uh, Sebastian Stan. I have a hundred. Yeah, no, 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 no. You opened up a whole big can of worms yeah. with doing that. Yeah. I think. I think you. I think you've done the opposite. I think they can. They can now write Grogu out of the series. But okay, yeah, so what happens? That's counterintuitive to Grogu what happens being in seven. Did, I, would, did, I agree with that. I agree Did with that. Ben kill them? Did Ben slaughter him? Because he very much says, "I killed all of the students." So, well, no, 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 no. You can't do that. You can't do that later. because because it is canon that when Leia talks Kylo Ren or talks uh, Luke into training Ben Solo, he's not training anybody else. He's by himself when she finds him. He she, he's not. There's no training academy. Actually, there's no training academy until actually seven or eight years after he starts taking Ben around with him to go to the temples. But I'm That's sure people problem. are buying Jedi Academy Leviathan now, aren't they? So, so that's, I mean, it just, it brings up so much, many more questions. Where did he go afterwards? What was, what did he do? Where did he take him? Did yeah, he, what it was was John. What it was was John, Parva, John wanted to go throw it in. He loves Luke. He's a little sappy. He likes Rudy. You know, like it is what it is. So like John wanted to throw the character in there. He threw the character in there. That's what happened. Like I, we we get what happened. I just think that that's cheap fan service. And like they were doing such a good job of good fan service. I mean, like the Rogue. It's not that I'm even against the old characters coming back because I really do like Rogue One, and I liked how they did the Vader scene. Like that was amazing, and that's a reshoot of a scene. So I'm not even mad about a reshoot of a scene. I'm just mad about how they did it. Like well, I'm not I, even mad about Luke coming back or trying to make Luke not be a whiny baby. I'm not mad about any of that stuff. I'm just really mad that of how they did it. I was like, wow, I this is really Patty cool. Jenkins video about Rogue Squadron, right? Mm -hmm. And and this is what. We were talking about this earlier, how about how Mandalorian was almost like the director's camp or showrunner camp for the other shows. Mm -hmm. And each show is going to have its own showrunner. Like you can clearly see Filoni got Ahsoka, right? That's going to be his baby. And whoever's running Book of Boba Fett, that's going to be their baby. Patty Jenkins is going to have Rogue Squadron, right? I, I almost think, I mean, I don't know, but this Luke Skywalker moment, it's almost like saying... Hey, we can do whatever the hell we want, right? And if the new showrunner wants to do, and that's where I'm, it's it's that's good. Got him in trouble, bad. though. That is that's exactly what I'm saying. That's what got him in trouble. They could do whatever they want. So all of a sudden, they that's released what Abrams it. did. And they released Han Solo in the middle of summer. They and then that's what Abrams did too on the first one. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, don't worry about it. This is what fans want. I'm just going to do this, and then you're stuck. And you're stuck, and then you got people that are like, "Well, this isn't what I signed on for. Right. 
this isn't what I wanted to do. Because Filoni and Favreau can't run all these shows. They're yeah, no. they, maybe Paldo Hidalgo can keep all this shit straight, but man, woof. Yeah, but Pablo doesn't have to write it all. All he has to do is say yes or no. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, but I think at this point they're so far behind on it that they're not even like they're not verifying some of this stuff. Like it's just they're hey, look, which we is, got oh, a destroyed in sand that seems to have perpetual motion. Um sorry, that's not how that works. <laughs> and then like the, the best car even like they rewrote it because before it was always like it wasn't it if you, if you got glanced off of it was fine it wasn't like impervious but they rewrote that in mandalorian now we know mm -hmm. okay like now yeah. we know it's kind of like an man team or whatever right <laughs> i don't think they're gonna go backwards from that though they're not gonna like no. all of a sudden i mean unless it's like mixed right if it's a mixed with something yeah, else it's not pure yeah I, I think it's like yeah, that was weird. Um, oh, I'm sorry. What, Marco? No, that was weird. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Like, because it isn't. That's not. That's not how it worked up to this point. That's the problem I have with it, Mike. Is that they've now by doing all that stuff, including with Luke, they kind of keep giving these little parts where they're like, "Well, that's not. We were playing in with that. These rules. We had final set rules, right? Which is cool. Like, I like that. Like, hey, we're not just going to let people write." weird weird books anymore or like crap on each other it's going to be really set like almost a reality type thing almost like a history um because you know galaxy far far away but like um but now they're like well that's the rules but that's not really the rules and that's well, where well, I see now here's the thing the rules are I always my 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 thing is the same every time if i go and i watch a piece of star wars material whatever it is clone wars rebels Force Awakened, I don't care. Rogue One doesn't make any difference. This past Friday was the first time I got excited like a little kid. And I honestly am not I'm not gonna I'm not the kind of guy who who I'm not gonna nitpick that stuff for myself if I felt like a kid watching something that was meant for my kid brain and it succeeded. Yeah. Now it's not it's not on me to figure out where to go next. It's yeah. on the people that make a shitload more money than I do. So let's let's see what they do with it. Let's see if they can figure out how to not back themselves into a corner. But man, dude, I was excited. And no, it's hard to I, you know it's hard to, to go away from that. I hear you, and I think we're on the same page. But the difference is the two episodes, right? Like, so the difference is between the episode sixteen and fifteen. Fifteen, they gave us something that was old but new. Like yeah. they went inside slave like. <clears throat> That's definitely from a long time ago, but they gave us something new about it and new deep. And that's where it's like, oh, my kid, like, that's what as a little kid. I'm like, man, what's it really look like inside that ship? I was never really like, oh, well, why is Luke such a pansy? Like, he should be stronger. That was never my thought process. My thought process was always like, dude, what does Slave One look like? Like, how does, how does, how do the shooters on Bubble Fett's uh, legs work? How, how was, uh, Luke trained because he never went through any training. How does like how old is Yoda? How's this stuff? Like that's how I was always. So when they give us these little things of like, hey, cool, we're gonna give you that fan service of we're gonna fill in those gaps. Mm. Cool. But Luke Skywalker still's a punk, dude. Like, but as you said about Star Wars, Wars for everybody, but he's not through, he's, he's Star Wars is for you. You can yeah, see so this Star Wars was for Jen and me. You can okay. see, you can see what it was. <laughs> no, but that's the, but that's the difference, and I'm not saying it's the wrong way for you guys. But my Star Wars isn't like, hey, go back and try to fix the original three movies. I hate that they changed Han shooting first. Oh, I'm a yeah. like I'm a truther when it comes to the movies. So like, don't change the movies. Luke Skywalker, a punk. Do you don't think we turn There's the other no way back? What's that? I think the more time that goes on, like on, I hear people keep saying like Han shot first. I'm kind of curious, like how much time has to go on for people them to go. You know what? Fine, let's just go back to the original. No, 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 because that's his. Like I can do whatever I want, so he's never gonna let that happen. But he's, he's not. He doesn't own it anymore. He doesn't own it anymore. He, yeah, he. All the people that are there that are creating stuff go back to him. They will. Yeah, they're, they're, he doesn't own it anymore. But his they name are. still on every single thing. Okay. Catherine Kennedy is still owes her job to Lu Lucas. Like, she might, but she won't be there forever either. This is now owned by a company bigger than any one person that's going to be around a lot longer than any of them. So eventually, a new guy yeah, might come in. That when Pablo dies off, when uh, Filoni dies off, when 
uh, Catherine dies off, then maybe they'll finally bring that back. But that's it. Like, I, I'm not saying you guys are wrong. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad people, I don't think you should cry to shoot videos on the YouTubes about it, but like, whatever, no. man, you know, whatever. What? Yeah. Well, it's what I said earlier, and Pete said it too. I was very schizophrenic about that episode. When I saw it by myself as the continuity Star Wars person, knowing Rebels, knowing everything, I was like, ugh. Then I saw it with my kids, and my 13-year-old daughter, who gave a crap about Baby Yoda, she really didn't care about him. And she saw that episode, and she almost started crying when Baby Yoda and him separated. And I was like, were you freaked out by Luke's CGI, his face? And she was like, well, they do that shit all the time. I mean, how many of the Marvel movies where somebody looked a little weird, you know? And so yeah, but I think it's a generation. new generation. I thought it's the best they've done on that thing. so far. What's that? I think it's the best they've done on that technology so far. Better, than, lot better than Leia and Tarkin. Yeah. I thought Tarkin was done really well. I th and But I was also mad at that. So that was another point that I was mad at. Is that, like, if you have this technology, how come you couldn't bring Leia back? Which... You said it was like, we're not going to do this because we don't want to disrespect the original three movies and how they look. And then all of a sudden for a TV show, you brought Luke Skywalker back and did it. So like, what is it? You know what I mean? Like, I, look, I, I understand. Yeah. So what's the rule? You can't take your helmet off or I just can't see your face. Because it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's But what the funny part about what about what Leaky Trooper said was this for the next generation. It isn't Luke, right? Like you weren't doing this for fandom you were literally doing this for a very small percentage of people that you would i mean look i get it and i'm not saying you're in the wrong on this you i get that you guys enjoy it i understand that because there's stuff i enjoy too i'm saying that some of it is a little bit overblown right like some of it is people shooting videos so they can put onions in their eyes and act like they're crying or whatever they want to do about it right some people like really resonated it resonated with with luke like it, it's it's interesting to hear people talk about luke and like when they were kids and how they like looked up to him and i'm like interesting because like i have my memories of luke and like my thoughts on him but like it's interesting to like hear other people's and like it just it, it became their favorite character right and so if that's their favorite character they feel like this is finally this is what i've been waiting for and then that's where they like had emotions people, and i'm like we all okay. wanted to be han yeah. No, yeah, I mean, there were some people in the chat. There were some people in the chat who seriously were like, "Man, it's been a rough year, and this meant a lot to me." And I'm not trying to diminish that at all. Like, I was already ready to go and call everybody a basic fan and whatever. And I saw that well, comment. Did. <laughs> well, I did kind of jokingly like, to you guys. I didn't do it to everybody. And when I saw that comment, I was like, "You know what? They have a point, man. Like, I'm not going to crap on somebody's Cheerios because that's what it was." Yes, is it overblown and everybody wants a reaction video now? Sure, but that was one reason why we don't do reaction videos. You should care. You should appreciate that I have an opinion and a fanfare for Star Wars, just like I appreciate yours. You should not care what I do while I'm watching a video of Star Wars. Like, that's not enjoying Star Wars. Like, Star Wars for me is seeing the inside of Slave One, seeing what happened to Sing, seeing Han Solo, even though I solo he'll never be the Han Solo that Harrison Ford was still getting that I really enjoyed it and me too Mike for you saying that just seeing Luke there good man I'm glad that helped or I'm glad that made you feel good and I'm glad that's good for you it could just there have been other choices could there could it could they have made other choices to make me just as excited probably and yeah. so that's where I, that's where I agree with you. Yeah, there could have been other versions of that scene where I would have been just as <gasps> as I was when I saw that. But you know, I'm fine with the one that they did, especially if this is, ends up being a throwaway scene. And so, yeah. why not use a little fan service if it's just the one time yeah. where you see a Jedi, and it just happens to be Luke? Then who gives a crap? Now, if they that's start to where, write that's an where I care more about it, though, that's where and, I, I and honestly get throwaway stuff. Yep. And honestly, Mike, that's my biggest fear: is it should have been a throwaway scene, but the problem is Luke took Grogu with him, and people want to can't do like it. an Oliver I mean, like it's like where did they where did um, Beverly Crusher go for one season? Oh, Grogu's back. Luke, Luke, it didn't work out. No, they're gonna have to show him again. They're going to well, have to say people, people are getting on the Sebastian Stan. Let's make him the new and then follow. And I'm like, Oh man, like they already have enough. Show. I know. I'm like, but if Luke, if Luke is the, if Luke is, right, the, if Luke is the new Yoda of the Jedi Academy, who says Luke has to be his master? 
That's he just true. brings him back and gives him to somebody else. That's a good point. Like Luke is just the, the real big guy in somewhere else. And they'll say, oh, we got him a new instructor. Yeah. And, yeah. Right. Luke I teaches all the younglings. Yeah. Luke teaches all the younglings, but the actual Padawans go to other Jedi. Not That's why you're an English though. teacher. You know how to write yourself out of stuff. I like that. We're just not going <laughs> to see him again. Not until he comes back to Mando eventually. We're just not going to yeah. see Kogu. Yeah, I mean, That's it would wrote him out. I guess if you're going to have Luke just pick up younglings roaming around because he's traveling the galaxy anyways and drop him off with somebody else, like one centrally located person, huh. I guess I'll be – That's it's still not it. Like I don't – that's where I think people don't understand my opinion on it. It's not Luke. Luke wasn't the problem there. The problem was you went for the cheap, oh, it's an X-Wing. I wonder who it is. You drew it out. Then we got to show his glove. Then we got to show the cape. Then we got to show the Green Lantern. Then we got to show the the Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, at one point, and honestly, at one point, the lightsaber was like by itself in the air, away from Luke. He's, for he's forced. He's using the force. The he didn't force. It. No, 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 no. He still got <laughs> his tail here and the things over here. Like, and I get that it's bad oh. editing or whatever, but like, it wasn't when I saw Vader come down like we said in our thing yeah rogue one was good but when i saw vader come down just the vader scene by itself was amazing even That's if it wasn't in that movie and rogue one was good without the vader scene yeah this well, marco to to answer your point i have a question for steve because it didn't hit me until steve. i saw it with an eight-year-old did your um and is it your son pete you watched it with yeah well second did, time he, now, watch it with did he know when did he know it was Luke? When did he say that's Luke? He knew before he watched it that Luke was coming. Oh, oh he knew before he watched it. See, the eight-year-old I saw it with, he had no, he didn't know it before. He's watching it. He didn't know who the dude in the hallway was. He didn't pick, he didn't catch the white glove and the black glove. When he pulled the hood back, he was like, that's freaking Luke Skywalker. And he almost pissed himself. He was very happy. <laughs> but he didn't have the background. He didn't know. When he saw the X-Wing flew in, he goes, he was with Cara Dune. He's like, oh, that's that dude. What are they going to do? You know, that those guys. They well, that's the joke. And that's the joke in the show, right? Cara's like, ooh, one X-Wing. Awesome. We're saved. <laughs> so to the eight-year-old who, who knows about Luke, but he's more of a historical character to him, because the original trilogy to this kid, he was like, oh, yeah, that was filmed when, you know, a hundred years ago. And Dinosaur Luke, Luke, years. Years. the last time we saw him, he faded into the sunset. He's this old guy, you know. Right. So to him, he was like, holy shit, that's Luke. <laughs> See, like, I know some of that was shot bad or whatever, but like that scene, like the actual theory on how Luke could transport himself on the stone over, I thought was a really cool theory in Star Wars for like a power that the Jedi, like that seemed, that's when I was like, wow, Luke is really powerful because it would take a lot for a Jedi master to do that. That's where I think he would have been. That's the only time to this point, even watching that where I was like, oh, he was BA because he projected himself and then fooled him pretty much. And that, that, that's a King's move right there. Well, you know what I mean? A lot of people. I mean, <laughs> Well, that's just checks mate. Like that was a yeah. good move. So when people are like, "Well, he's not," yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just appearance of people too. So no, uh, I, and I'm with you, Marco. When I watched it Friday morning, and I, I felt exactly like you do now. And it was up until that point when a brand new audience member who didn't really have the background came in and saw it. That's when it hit me. I was like, "Holy!" I said, "This kid didn't know that was because at first I was like." What are you, what are you, dumbass? Of course that was Luke. You know, I was like, and I was like, oh wait, this kid's eight. He's he's used to Clone Wars. He's used to Rebels. He Luke was like just this, you know. So thirteen, thirteen. Yes. Yeah. 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 That was like the add-on. Mike, take it easy. We'll see you later, Pete. Good. Everybody's good. Solo, take us out of here. Oh, I got you. Okay. Hey, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us and doing a little chatting. Please go over and force push that like and subscribe so you can come join us for all the fun talk. And then go over and saber strike that bell so you can be alarmed when we come on to endure and lovely chat this entire side of the galaxy with Star Wars.
And always remember, the force will be with you. Always. always.